guys, Cindy out here with My Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm actually doing pretty well. Got to put some sponges in the water over here. Um, I am here with my creative year, and this month's topic, as you guys know, is nature. I sit here, and everything I thought about, I was like, no, I don't want to do that. No, I don't want to do that. No, I don't want to do that. And, and then I just, I decided, all right, I'm just going to do my thing, which is what I normally do anyways. So... Here's what I did. I started going through a bunch of pictures that I had. And I have all these pictures, and I just wanted to show you guys. Um, you guys learned last year. Let me bring you in a little bit. Let's see if I can bring you in. Yep. Um, you guys learned last year. One of my other things I really enjoy doing is photography. I like taking pictures, and apparently I like taking a lot of pictures of natures and patterns is what I found out. But... Um, I wanted to just show you some of the pictures. I mean, you're going to look at these and say, yeah, 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 they're pictures of nature. When I'm out somewhere, I'm always looking for whether it's a pattern or if it's a shape. Um, I just, I enjoy taking pictures of nature. Look at this one, and I don't miss this at all. That is all frost on the trees. I was actually on my way to or from, back from a doctor's appointment in New York, and um I saw this so I pulled the car over and I just took that picture and it's just so beautiful because that's all the frost on the trees it doesn't stay that way long boom and it's gone but I thought that was really cool um, I've got pictures of stumps <laughs> just plain old stumps um, this was just a pile of wood out behind our house but I just love the picture uh, pine cones I enjoy taking pictures of those um, that's a flower that's not quite in focus it's blurry this is a cactus that I saw up at I think Red Rock Canyon um, and that was just weird looking here's Red Rock Canyon how beautiful is that just absolutely stunning um, here's one of my butterflies you guys saw before this is a, um, a beach it's uh, off Cape Cod and right off the top of me, I can't remember the name of this beach, but the, this, this dunes are really, really high. And you're like this little bitty thing down here by these dunes, but it was just absolutely gorgeous. Um, again, more Red Rock Canyon. But if you just look at this, look at the color. That's what I can't get over, is the color. You've got your whites, you've got your blues, you've got your creams, you've got your greens, your browns, your olives, your orange, your rust, your tan. I just think these are so cool. And you know what? The camera doesn't do these pictures justice. But you know, um, they never do. Um, this is just a little tortoise guy. A little, I don't know what he is. Lizard? Some kind of lizard out in Arizona. Um, again, more Red Rock Canyon. The colors are just what, what dry, I just can't believe. Uh, cactus, I'm, for some reason I'm in love with cactus. I don't know why. I think they are so cool. Uh, more Red Rock Canyon. Look how tiny. These are people are climbing this canyon. Look at that. Look how tiny they are. But anyways, the whole point um, behind these pictures is look at the colors. Look at the different color schemes here. And you can just see the lines of the color. Look at that. So when, anyways, when I got thinking about nature, there's Red Rock Canyon. Um, when I got thinking about nature, I got thinking about these pictures and I got thinking about how I really enjoy looking at something like this and saying, hmm, could I paint that? So guess what Cindy's going to do? Um, for Christmas, um, from my mother-in-law, I received um, these Arteza. Uh, they're watercolor markers in our watercolor brushes and I really want to play with them so I'm gonna get these out um, and I've got some watercolor paper here that I'm gonna use whoops let me back you back out I've got some more this is um, actual the Arteza watercolor pad um, they came in three in a pack which is really cool so um, I'm gonna play around with some of these on some watercolor paper now like I promised I am gonna use this this is gonna be my um, 2019 my creative year and what I plan on doing is doing a watercolor scene um, probably to put in this little pocket here and then I'll be doing something here on the pocket maybe I'll do another smaller watercolor here I'm not really sure either that or just write about you know what I think about doing this nature picture so bear with me number one I am not a watercolor artist <laughs> so I am gonna play um, I hope you guys enjoy and we will chat toward the end I don't know which picture I'm gonna do so that's the next thing I need to figure out uh, is what picture I'm gonna do and we'll be back
change of plans here a little bit. I am st <laughs> can't use these brushes right now. Um, I want to play with watercolor, and uh, you know the brushes I'll definitely use later on. But right now I just need to play with watercolor. Um, this is one of my watercolor palettes. It's just got a complete array of. It's got everything from Koi to um, Grumbacher to. Uh, I'm not sure who else is in here. Um, but it's just, it's one of the palettes that I like to use when I'm playing around. So I'm going to switch over to this. And um, I'm still working on, you know, I'm going to use this photo, which I thought was kind of cool. It, look, it looks simple. Ha ha. It's not simple. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and play around with this. And I hope you guys enjoy. And I hope it looks like a mountain when I'm done instead of blobs. Who knows? <laughs> enjoy.
decided I'm going to do is I've decided I'm actually going to put it right on this front page. Um, I've just got some double-sided tape here that I'm going to use. And I want it um, put right here. And then what I'm going to do... Oh, crud. I did do that in the wrong spot. I'll have to watch where I take that tape off. I want to keep this here because I do want to do some journaling on here. Um, so let's see. What am I going to do? Cindy messed that up. So right about there. Where is my knives? I can't find any of my knives. There's one. This will work. Um, where did I say? There's one in here. So I'm just going to cut that off right there. And I'm just not going to take that second double sided sticker off, which is fine. This is a set of X-Acto knives that are really cool. They're called pen blades, and uh, they're really neat. Oh no, it's stuck! <laughs> that works. Okay. All right, I'm gonna leave this right here for my nature. Oh, I'm gonna have to put. Gotta love double side tape, don't you? I'm gonna put this right here. And then I'm going to take the top off it. Maybe. Maybe not. Ta -da. Come on. Take the top off it. And then we'll stick it down right there. Yeah, I, you know, like I said, it's not exact, but I had fun with it. Um, it's, you know, a great representation. I know what it is. I know it's Red Rock Canyon. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. But you know what? As far as I know, nobody's perfect and no thing is perfect. So um, I want to write on here. Let me go ahead and do a little bit of journaling and then we'll wrap up this video. So I'll be back shortly. Guys, so here's what we did. I put a little tab on the picture and I actually stuck the original picture in this little pocket here which is good so I'm gonna leave that there and then I did a little bit of journaling basically talking about um, what the picture is um, that I used watercolor to do a representation of it that it was not easy <laughs> but I also had fun doing it so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this month's video on nature don't be surprised if you see some other um, videos come along just as I feel like playing you know if I had to do some more in the nature theme I'll, I'll put them up in my creative year so I hope you guys have enjoyed don't forget to to check out all the other artists we've got a lot of different videos coming out throughout the month um, check them out give them a little love and as always you know don't forget to have fun that's what life's all about happy creating and i'll talk to you next time bye bye